Greetings, fellow humans. Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today we're going to be taking a look at something I don't have one of, or at least something with this feature. Um, I've got a number of macro pads, which I've done reviews on some of them. I do have one. It's a... I can't remember the name of it. It was a cheapy one off Amazon, just as blue light. And I've desoldered the switches out of it, and I've been meaning to rebuild it. But I don't have a Bluetooth or wireless uh, numpad macro pad. So today, I'll be taking a look at one from Boyi. Now, I previously did take a look at a keyboard from Boyi, and it's a TKL. It's not bad. Um, I think where I was, I stood on it basically was that it was uh, probably a little overpriced for what it has. I mean, it doesn't sound awful, but it's got a steel plate and it's got switches that haven't been lubed. So it's not, not a bad TKL by any means, but I think it was that I thought it might have been a little overpriced. Um, I do have it on my list of keyboards to mod, so at some point here in the near future, I will be coming back to it. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that I can get it to sound good, and I may even just lube the switches that it has and keep the same keycaps. But in that vein, the numpad that they sent me is matching, or at least to a certain degree it's matching, because this is more of a frosted white. Let's see, did they stand? Yeah, they, oh no, not the same angle. The numpad's a little bit taller. Ah, oh well. Just kind of hoping it matched, but it's not like I use this keyboard. But, let me see. Oh, alright, there's the 2.4 gigahertz dongle. Alright, so we've also got a, um, oh, alright. This is nice. I can't recall if the boy had extra switches, but they did include a couple of extra switches here. And these are, oh, well, look at there. They are cherry browns. Um, it's funny because I actually just got some from a friend, uh, one of the moderators on the Budget Cube subreddit. He sent me some. Uh, I know they're around here somewhere, but I don't know exactly where at the moment. But he sent me some cherry browns. I think it, just just like this. Uh, that's um, huh, pretty cool. So are these this loaded with cherry browns? No. Okay. So this is just some spares, I guess, that are cherry browns. Interesting. And these are Gatoron yellows. All right. They're just regular gator on yellows because they do have a bit of a ping. All right, so here we are with the Boye TD21. Um, that's the model number of it. It is available on Amazon. Um, now, they did send this out to me uh, in exchange for my review. So, like I said, I have I, I have several macro pads. I thought I had one around here. Oh, yeah, there it is. This is... Um, one made with the, oh, this is the, the Adafruit, I believe, macro pad. Uh, this one's pretty cool, but I've got some of the uh, Megalodon ones, which are also uh, pretty cool as well. But I don't have a wireless one, and there are times that I take a smaller keyboard on the road with me, and then I'm like, ah, oh, I need the numpad. So it would be nice to have one in there and not have to worry you know, about taking an extra cable. I usually am very judicious with how many cables I carry when I'm traveling because I just do not like to travel with a lot of things. I like to travel light. So, all right, do we have an on and off switch? There it is. All right, we've got light. Now, let me see what the... Oh, okay, that's a function key. So... Function five and plus. All right, so we can cycle through um, basically glowing single effects or single colors. These are the effects. That's the five. So it does have. This is actually more like a um, 
course I don't have it right here. More like the IK75 um, and a couple others that have the frosted white color. So you do get a little bit, a little bit of shine through. Not much on the bottom, but more of kind of a haze. Um, so it's cloudy. For those switches not being lubed, it doesn't sound that bad, to be honest. I'm gonna check. Is it sitting on a steel plate? All right, so there is actually, um, oh, that's probably why it sounds good. Not only is there a nice little layer of yep, silicone between the plate and the PCB, the plate appears to be PC as well. There's also an open cell foam down at the bottom of the case. So that's why it's sounding so good. So with lube switches, it's uh, probably going to sound a lot better, I would imagine. Because it doesn't sound... Well, if you put your ear up to it, you can definitely hear ping. Um... I'm almost tempted to put some other switches in it, but, but I'm not doing it stock. Stabilizer, look. Yeah, so the plate is just an extension of the top half of the case. Looks like a skirt over it. Alright, so... Plate mounted stabs and... They appear to be very well mounted, so it's got good tolerances. And the orientation is the same way, so they're not going to change. Some, some uh, numpads, for some reason, will orient the uh, switch sideways which is odd, so at least they didn't do that here too. Uh, those stabilizers are nice and solid. You can see the nice thick layer of what I believe is silicone between the plate and the PCB. That's what's making sure there's not too much hollowness, but the switch is not being lubed. That's a um, uh, it's just a such an easy thing they could do. I mean, because not that factory lubing is amazing, but because most of the time it's a film that they apply. Um, or they might pre dip, you know, something, but a pre dip of the spring, that would be perfect. You're at least, I mean, okay, they were a little scratchy. A lot of scratchy switches will end up sounding just fine after a little while of using them. Yeah, uh, I mean, having the ability to, co to communicate, let me see. Now, I do want to see how to, oh, there's another switch. Uh, this is instructions for this because it's like, toggle the switch to the left near the Type-C port to enter wireless mode. Oh. The port's here. There's the switch. There is no other switch. All right. Function. And minus. All right. Four. All right. It's blinking fast. That one function and minus is for 2.4. All right. That's for Bluetooth. Yeah, it actually connected pretty quick. Um, I went ahead and disconnected. I got enough devices <laughs> connected to this computer. So that's the side lights and. Uh, oh. Plus, it's this light. Five is the effects. Oh, that's nice. I don't see much on the side light there. But. So, the RGB effects are fairly good. That, that pin on those switches just kind of gets to me. But maybe I'll switch out the switches for something better so we can get to hear what it sounds like. Cause I mean, it's not a bad little numpad. 
might as well give it a fair shot. Let's get technical. Today we are taking a look at the Boy TD21 or K21 three mode numpad with 21 keys. It is a hot swappable and LED filled wireless number pad. It weighs in at 192 grams and it manufacture retails for $45.99 on Amazon.com. It also includes software in order to program key and lighting. The chin of this macro pad sits at 19 millimeters above the surface while the bat sits at 32 millimeters providing for a typing angle of 8 degrees. It comes with a PC plate integrated into the top housing. It is well dampened and comes with Gameron yellow hot swap switches. So um, we've got a pretty good um, wireless numpad here. I, I, I gotta say I like the, the functionality and having one wireless. I've never really thought about it, but there are times when I need to put my number pad at a different spot than perhaps my keyboard because I'm doing different types of input or whatever the work situation might be. So having the ability to go wireless is pretty good. Um, the fact that it has uh, basically a polycarbonate plate since the top you know, housing is also the plate material helps to deliver a nice experience. Now, I do wish that they would have put, um, they would have used some lubed switches to start off with. All right, so I've got some Jaywick blacks here. I'm gonna go ahead and, and do a sound test with the, uh, the stock gator on yellow. But then I'm gonna switch it out to see what kind of difference does it make when we put some I either lube them or they're pre-lubed because there's no ping in here whatsoever yeah I think I did lube them if I'm not mistaken so we'll see what it sounds like stock with the uh, gat yellow and then we'll see what it sounds like with uh, the J with black which is a decent linear uh, switch not quite the same weight as a yellow but very similar um, and see what it sounds like I'm I'm actually going to start using this. I, I like the idea of it. I kind of wish that it had a knob, um, but not everything has to have a knob, does it? <laughs> does it? So, all right, so I'm going to leave you guys with a stock sound test of the Boye wireless three mode. Yeah, and it's 2.4 and Bluetooth, but obviously I prefer to use Bluetooth. I know 2.4, well, especially where I live, it's just too crowded. Um, good luck getting it to work more than you know just away from your desk but um i'm i'm actually gonna gonna give this a try i'll probably just use it on the side of a keyboard that already has a knob so i won't feel like i'm knobless <laughs> but um so i'll leave you guys with that stock sound test uh, and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. i'm trying to get into a little bit more varied i'm going to be doing some switch reviews here soon which i haven't done many on and but i'm trying to set up a format so that i can provide you know the best information while trying to be as unbiased as possible as unbiased as a human can be so anyway the boy td21 a three mode wireless which is i know i've seen it on sale for 39.99 i don't know how often it goes on sale but it's uh, normally priced at 45.99 so um, I will probably come back to this and take a look at the software. I didn't have a chance to take a look at the software, and I've got a whole slew of things that are knocking out my door that I need to get to on video. So let me go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test as well as a sound test with some Jay Wood Blacks. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.